If you've been working on app development in a professional environment, then you've probably worked with designers, at least at some point in your career. Um, and then you've also had the need to use custom fonts in your app. If you've used custom fonts before on any platform, you know it can be a royal pain in the, well, you know what I mean. Um, and it, Xamarin Forms right now, they've implemented something that's called export font. It's an export font attribute, and that's all you need to do. Just add your font files once in one project, and you can use it in your application by just setting one attribute. You can see how in this video. So of course, because it's all native APIs, you've always been able to work with custom fonts and Xamarin forms. Um, I've already have a blog post which dates back to 2016, uh, where I describe how to do it on iOS and Android. So for iOS, um, you had to do it like you have to register the font um, in your Oh, the formatting here is a little bit off, but you have to register it in your info plist file. Uh, so you have to register the fonts up front um, and you will have to put like the fonts in your actual iOS project. Now, if you want to do Android, uh, then we scroll a little bit down. Here we see the results, how it looks like. Um, if we scroll a little bit down to Android, you still have to copy these fonts into your Android project as well. So now you have duplicated the fonts. Um, and if you're ever going to change that, then um, you have to do that for all the projects and you have to remember that. And as you know, um, we're bad at remembering those things. Um, and well, even back then we had to do this custom render thing um, where we set the, the font ourselves. So this is far from ideal. Then um, in 2018, I did a revisit it. So how could we do it now? Um, Xamarin Forms has uh, made some improvements on that side and you could now very easily just say, um, okay, I still need to register my font for uh, each of the platforms. That is something that uh, was still needed. Um, but what you could do now is you could say, okay, I want to have this font family here and put it like that. Um, and it would automatically, if you do that in the right format, so you would have like the uh, font file name, then a hashtag, then the font family name. So the actual name of the font that's inside that file. Um, and it would automatically be picked up by iOS, Android, and UWP. So here I describe a little bit more about how to do it on a navigation page. Uh, I will link these blog posts in the uh, description of this episode. Uh, but now for this video, I want to show you the easiest way yet, which is by the export font uh, attribute. So if we quickly switch over to Visual Studio for Mac, and we start inspecting our projects on the left. So here is our shared project. Here we have Android, iOS, uh, UWP is not loaded on macOS. Uh, but if we go back to our shared project here, I've created a folder resources, uh, which has a folder fonts. Uh, and inside we have two fonts here. So this is FA5 regular, which is font awesome. Um, and some font that is freely available called uh, Samantha. So that's, that's cool. Um, so the first thing I want to show you is that these are only in my shared project. You don't have to duplicate the font files anymore. They just live in your shared project. They will be um, resources, embedded resources. So make sure that you set them as the build action to embedded resources. That's something that you still have to do. Um, but you also have to do that for every other resource that is inside this uh, project that you want to use. Um, and then what you have to do is uh, use these attributes. So as you can see, those are set on the assembly level. So it doesn't really matter where you put these as long as they're somewhere in this assembly. For visibility, I like to put them in the app XAML uh, so that at least someone will know that it's not entirely magic what's going on here. Uh, but you could also put it like in the assembly info or any other page where it's relevant to. So you could even like spread them across different pages uh, only where you use them or maybe in your backing style uh, XAML code thing, um, whatever, doesn't matter. I've put them here and what you simply do, it doesn't matter in which folder it is, it will automatically figure that out, but you will just have to say, hey, I got this font and this is the file name. So I got one for Samantha and I got one for FA5 regular. Um, and the other thing you can do is give it an alias because like the FA5 regular is not very descriptive. Uh, it doesn't matter. I could rename it 
if that's what I want. But you can also give it an alias. And then now I can suddenly use this font with this alias. Um, if I don't specify it, you can just simply use it by uh, specifying this font file name uh, without the extension. So if we go to the main page, we go back. And if we look at this label here, you can see it has the welcome to Xamarin forms. Um, and I just simply say font family Samantha. Boom, that's it. That's all I need to do. And for font awesome, you can see I am using this font awesome uh, alias that I've just created. So when I run this, you won't be surprised that um, you will see this font showing up. Uh, the iOS simulator is coming up here. Here we go. Our very simple uh, sample app is loaded. And you can see this is the Samantha font and this is the font awesome font. So it just works. And that's all you have to do to use custom fonts. Now, of course, this also works out of the box for Android. Uh, for UWP, the Samantha font works pretty easily. Uh, the font awesome one is a little bit different. You need to, I think, specify still the, the old way of doing it on UWP. Uh, while this is all implemented in UWP, there is some stuff going on with the actual parsing of the font files and that kind of stuff. So it's not in there entirely 100% at this time, but it's at least very much easier for like the regular fonts than uh, what it was like before all of this. So that's pretty cool. Well, what do you think? Using custom fonts is pretty easy like this, right? I mean, just drop the file in, register that attribute and use it on iOS, Android, and a little bit of UWP. Let me know what you think. Please like, subscribe, do all the things to that bell that you want to, um, just so you know whenever a new video comes up that you'll be notified. I also am interested in what kind of beautiful designs your app have. So make sure to show me that screenshot, send me links to your projects, um, and I will make sure to look at them and let me know what you think. Please comment uh, below or find me on Twitter, and hopefully you will join me for the next episode.